Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be the last Valheim guide video we do for a little bit, but I wanted to jump into the topics of how to get some of the best weapons and armor we have available right now, alongside how to hunt the sea serpents properly and create what is known as the sea serpent shield. Let's begin with the desert biome. Previously in the last video we talked about how after you kill the dragon boss, you get a recipe for building completely new workbenches that you can utilize to conquer this biome. Some of you might have already explored the desert a bit before killing the dragon, and unless you got super lucky, I'm assuming that trip was cut very short. But don't worry, we know your pain. What lives in the desert is some of the most powerful creatures you'll be able to encounter right now. It contains goblins, the animal known as lox, and the death skeetos, which are very true to their name as you'll come to find out. The key to surviving the desert could be as simple as making use of the biomes around it. Would not recommend putting your forward operating or regular base directly inside it. At nighttime, as we mentioned before, mobs get more aggressive and they'll start spawning more. And the goblins like to spawn in packs. They hit pretty hard and they love going after your workbenches and crafting stations, or even trying to smash your portals. Wouldn't mess around in here unless you're building stone or you have a base specifically for farming mobs. You'll find different points of interest within it such as the goblin villages. These have different types of them like the goblin shaman and the berserker. The berserker is basically a giant and more powerful version, but the shaman is capable of spawning more of them, and previously we even saw it generate force fields around them. Now in the goblin villages, you'll find one of the plants known as flax. This is a material you'll need for crafting the desert biome armor, so you'll need to visit one at some point. The deathskeetos is probably the biggest reason why the plains is so dangerous. Even though they glow in the dark at night, they're very tiny and fly pretty fast. They can be right on top of you in no time if you're not paying attention. And despite their small sizes, they hit like a freaking truck. Like one shot you in iron armor before you even know what's happening kind of truck. And that's with multiple food buffs. The key to surviving them is to shoot them down with your bow before they even aggro. They can fly over water too and have a pretty big aggro radius. So this can be even harder to do when sailing near the coastlines. But worst case scenario, if you have a shield you may be able to parry the mosquito or just block the initial hit and then try to melee it down from there. They have little to no health so try to hit them by any means necessary. Now for the weapons and armor you can make from this biome, you'll discover the recipes of black metal and padded armor. For making these weapons you'll need to get black metal, fine wood, and linen thread. For their armor, it's mainly just the iron and linen thread. At this point in the game I'm still using a draugr bow which takes silver, deer hide, and both ancient bark and guck that comes from the swamp. To reach the guck you just need to build a ladder or staircase up to it and get it with your hatchet. For these weapons though, you can get black metal scrap as a drop from the goblins. Having a base specifically for farming them is very useful in this regard. To smelt the metal you need a blast furnace which takes these materials, and you unlock the recipe from killing the dragon like we talked about earlier. And lastly the linen is going to come from flax being used in a spinning wheel, fine wood, iron nails and leather scrap to make the refinery, and you need the artisan table design you get from also killing the dragon. Flax as we talked about only currently grows in the plains, and you can find plus harvest it inside those goblin villages. Make sure to take extra care to watch out for mosquitoes, very recommended to use portals for your forward operating base because doing anything related to the desert is going to have a lot of trial and failure. For upgrading these weapons you should just need the black metal itself, and the damage on most of these will be a big upgrade on whatever you have. The armor is simply iron and linen, and the porcupine is also incredibly strong if not one of the strongest. But for this one you'll need to hunt the mosquitoes. It's going to take about 5 needles to make this one. Also recommend looking at the Frostner if you like hammers. It has a freeze effect alongside the blunt damage. And for the Ymir flesh to craft it, you'll get that at the NPC trader. Now for the sea serpent, allow me to tell you how you can get your hands on the sea serpent shield. It's almost as good as the black metal ones defense wise, but where it evens out is mostly on the durability side, and also the movement speed penalty. By the way, if you need the chains to craft the black metal shield, you can get them off the wraith or the dungeon chest in the swamp. First thing you'll need before hunting the sea serpent is the harpoon. If you find the giant sea turtles out in the ocean, you can harvest the nodes on their back for what is known as chitin. Then you take that and craft yourself an abyssal harpoon. After that, find yourself a sea serpent, make sure you bring the medium sized ship or the long ship. Having the dragon power helps with your sailing as well, and be sure to bring at least one person with you to make it easier. Personally, I've had better luck finding the sea serpents out in the ocean during a storm or at night, but we've also been able to spot them during the day. Once you've got one on your tail, harpoon it and start bringing it to the shoreline. You can drag it up on the shore, but make sure not to let go. Then someone else can slice it, or you can wait for it to burst. Then you can finally collect the serpent scales, 
the trophy, and the meat. If you've hunted serpents before but didn't get anything but the meat, it's because you have to drag them up onto the shoreline first. Hopefully this helps you guys survive. Make sure to be careful while farming in the plains, and I hope you have a wonderful night or day. Farewell.